much as that we have the freedom of the scars here at the bottom of Africa. Flying here in Cape Town means that we don't have to ask for any permissions, file any flight plans or fly any corridors. We can literally take off. And once we're up there, decide that based on the conditions where we want to go. Today the sky was blue, the wind was gentle, so a trip towards Cape Town, Table Mountain and around the peninsula was on the cards. Once you've taken off, Table Bay is in front of you. You pass over it with Robben Island on your right and then Table Mountain ahead of you. At one kilometer high or 3,500 feet at its highest point, Table Mountain stands proudly above the city. It's a national park, it's Devil's Peak and to its right is Lion's Head. Being so accessible, it's usually full of hikers and trail runners. Once you pass Table Mountain, on the western side are the mountain buttresses known as the Twelve Apostles. These are the mountains that lie behind Table Mountain on the west. You pass over Camps Bay, a beautiful isolated beach called Dudno. This is still on the Atlantic side. And we come to another harbour town called Hout Bay. Here there's fishing activity and just off the mountain, and which is known as Sentinel. The tide is right, you get the world around big wave surfing in this location. On the other side of the bay is Chapman's Peak Drive. It's a very scenic drive which is included in the Cape Town Cycle Tour and the Two Oceans Marathon. Due to the dangers of rock falls, the road has received significant work over the years to protect drivers. The road itself connects Hout Bay and Nurduk, and many years ago, after some clever engineering and the use of convict labour, it was opened in 1920. It's a spectacular marine drive with a beautiful lookout. Nurek Peak is the mountain that towers above it. On the right or southern side is Scarborough. And this is South Africa's tallest cast iron lighthouse at Slungklop, which roughly translated means snake's head. If you go further south, you will head to Cape Point, which is the mythical dwelling of the Atlantic and Indian Ocean. But I cut the corner and headed over to the Indian Ocean via Fisher. Once you're through there, Simon's Town, the South African Naval Harbour is to your right. And just beyond that is Boulder's Beach where you'll find a colony of endangered African penguins. From there I routed back northwards and it took me past Colt Bay, which is a very quaint fishing village where you can buy fresh fish off the boats. And then on to Musenberg, which is a very benign and popular beach for surfing. route then takes me northwards and back to Table Bay and on to Big Bay where all the big kite surfing happens as the wind blows here. Back home at Morningstar, I could practice a few touch and goes, and then it was landing and into the hangar. The flight's not over until the plane's in the hangar. <laughs> 